And here is Superman. As he appeared in Action Comics 1000. That was another anniversary issue. Much like Detective Comics 1000. So these are a pair. The world's finest. And the rest of the figures here. Here's the Unchained Superman armor from Superman Unchained. There it is. Drawn by Jim Lee. And written by Scott Snyder. Who is known for Batman. Then, of course, we have these three. We have the Batman Who Laughs. Of course, a Jokerized Batman. If you've read Dark Knight's Metal and Dark Knight's Death Metal, he is the main baddie. And he had his own comic book also, The Batman Who Laughs. This is the cover by Jock. And Batgirl from The Art of the Crime. So this is her sort of regularized un -bat girl of Burnside costume. There it is in the back by Sean Gordon Murphy. And we have Nightwing. Better than Batman. When DC Rebirth started, he went back to the recognizable black and blue that we remember from Nightwing's uh, pre-New 52 costume. So there it is. And actually, there was a Build-A-Figure for this wave. Him, Batman Who Laughs, and Batgirl came with parts to create a Batmobile. This was it. One of the first Build-A-Figures that came along with uh, McFarland Toys. But later on, they really came out with Build-A-Figure toys. And we'll be reviewing that in the future. I have more McFarland Toys to talk about. But for now, we are going to be unboxing these six figures so who are we going to start with huh let's see but this week is going to be a big week for dc comics fans because it is going to be the release week of Zack snyder's justice league which will be streaming on hbo max on march 18 so that's a few days away as of this recording and i can't wait to actually watch it with everybody else. But for now, let's unbox these figures and let's start. Just a quick overview again of the packaging before we open them proper. Here, we're going to look at it. They're pretty big 7-inch figures. Of course, I'm excited to open Hellbat and the Superman Unchained Superman armor. And Superman himself. This is a pretty awesome looking Superman figure. And we don't get much of that with uh, normal retail released action figures. And this is an exception. Looks really good. Then of course we come to these Batman-esque characters. And the Bat Family starting with Nightwing. And Batgirl. And his dark mirror. The Batman Who Laughs. A Jokerized Batman from Earth-22. We're going to be opening those. But first, I guess we're going to start with the Man of Steel himself, Superman. As promised, we're going to be starting with Superman. Here he is inside the packaging, unopened. Superman, Action Comics 1000. And there's the drawing by Jim Lee in the back. So we're going to cut this open. A true unboxing. In every sense of the word. Let's get this open. There. So as you can see, as per standard DC Multiverse packaging, he comes with a trading card and a stand. You can actually make him fly. There's, there's a plastic holder here. So you can make him fly if you want. Here's Superman. And the... Uh, Plastic with tiny plastic rope here that you have to cut. Interchangeable hands, of course. If you want them with fists, you can do that. There, looking great. Now we just gotta pry them open. So let's get to that. And we pry them open. Here is Superman. And as the figure's box states, it comes with 22 points of articulation. So there's the normal ball joint in the head. You can move the arm, an elbow, and the hand. There's an interchangeable 
hand also, a fist hand if you want to put it in this hand and vice versa for the other one. No, it's an open hand actually. So you can hold an accessory or something. But Superman doesn't come with an accessory. These are flight hands, so if you want him to go up, up and away, there we go. Of course, torso can move. Tight joints in the knees and in the feet. A pretty awesome figure. Ball joint also in the feet, so there. And I don't have to pry this open. This uh, plastic stand and this plastic holder so you can put him in flight mode and to take out the trading card. So that's coming up next. Here we go with the trading card based off Jim Lee's artwork with a profile here in the back. Which is pretty cool and awesome, but what is awesome is this figure. I was able to make him stand. Wow. Superman. And you put him next to Batman. We got the world's finest right there. Looking pretty awesome, guys. Here is the stand, which I'll have to assemble if I want to make him fly. But otherwise, this is looking pretty good. We got a growing collection of DC Multiverse figures, so nice card. We're done with Superman. Next up, we got Superman Unchained Superman armor. Yeah, that's a Kryptonian styled armor. I never read this story by Scott Snyder and Jim Lee. It was from the New 52 era. So as you can see, uh, he has the Lasso of Truth. Yeah, I think it's the Lasso of Truth uh, wrapped around him. The story, it looks like Wonder Woman's Lasso, but anyway, I should read the story one of these days. Uh, but it's a nice looking Superman armor, so we're going to open this. Let's open him up. Whoa. Okay. This Superman, or super armor, comes with wings. Whoa. Looks like Mazinger Z styled wings, if you're into Japanese super robots. Though he's Superman, he shouldn't use armor unless he's weak from kryptonite or some magical elements. Otherwise, yeah, here we go. We gotta remove the plastic wiring again. And take this out from its plastic clamshell. The card and the stand and the wings. So that'll be up next. Yep, Mazinger Z Superman. There he is with his wings, which I put the pegs in the back. And you can adjust it accordingly. So you can make it into a cape style setting, much like regular soups. Not much to be said about this figure. Uh, 22 points of articulation as per standard McFarlane Toys points of articulation. But it's a pretty decent looking Superman Unchained Superman armor. Comes with its own stand. So you put here in the peg hole and he'll be able to stand. Let's free up the wings. There. Okay. Man of Steel, literally. Superman Unchained. Superman. Not bad. Let's open up the other armored superhero of this bunch. I almost forgot to show the trading card that comes with Superman Unchained. Superman armor. And it says here the first appearance of that armor was Superman Unchained number 7, which was released in 2014. When the weaponized alien called Wraith goes on a destructive rampage in the Batcave and both Batman and Wonder Woman are unable to stop him, Superman dons an armor that features a shield and battle axe to confront the electromagnetic adversary. Their battle continues to the center of the Earth where Superman is finally able to defeat him, leaving him floating in the lava at the Earth's core. Not bad, Superman. There we go. 
trading card. Now we go to the Hellbat, which we will open now. Ooh, there we go. There's the Hellbat still tied in a string in its clamshell. And there's another couple of wings, and a trading card, and a stand, which we will have to remove a feature again. Okay, this is a toy. This Hellbat Armor Batman toy is pretty awesome. Look at this. The wingspan of the bat wings. I like this better than the Superman Unchained Armor, simply because it's Batman and it's awesome. Wow, very menacing. This first appeared in Batman and Robin number 35 during the New 52 era when Batman, using this armor which was made by the Justice League, went to Apocalypse to retrieve Damian Wayne's body, he was dead at that time, from Darkseid. It's good in here. You can't really see it, but there is the drawing. Oh boy, really, really awesome figure wow one of the better first McFarlane made DC multiverse toys hard plastic for the wings of course you can close it if you want to making it uh, take less space otherwise yes it also comes with its own stand which you can put in the peg holes here I don't have to explain that it has 22 points of articulation. Yes, very, very nice. Mecha Batman armor toy. You put him next to Superman Unchained armor here. Yeah, there's a big difference. But they both have armors. They're from the same wave. I like this one. Really, really nice. And yeah, if you're going to put it beside uh, a regular Batman figure, here. This dwarfs Batman by an inch. And he's thicker, of course. It's an armor. Yeah, there we go. Not bad, McFarlane. Good work, Todd Father. Looking forward to more Batman figures that I'll be unboxing. So, now that we're done with that wave now we're gonna go for nightwing right here it's part of the uh collect to build the batmobile wave which i don't need to do anymore because i have the batmobile right here it's all batman stuff let's go for nightwing once again i'd like to give a shout out to my friend maya Spandex here, Philippines, for giving me these figures and the Batmobile and Hellbat. With the exception of Superman and Superman Unchained, I bought those separately. Okay, now we're going to go for Batman's first sidekick and war, Dick Grayson. When he came of age and assumed the identity of Nightwing, inspired by the Kryptonian legend told to him by Superman. go better than batman nightwing and of course comes also with his own stand and trading card based off the artwork of dc rebirth nightwing we're gonna open this shortly we have to cut this out again from the clamshell and this is a primary example of how you should make a nightwing action figure McFarlane Toys, Todd McFarlane, he did an awesome job with Richard Dick Grayson here. And his trading card, Nightwing. And as the profile says, Nightwing number one, 2016, DC Rebirth, inspired action figure. Uh, he was the first Robin who trained under Batman, but eventually left the nest and was inspired by Superman right here. With the tail of Nightwing. And he donned his own identity. But these are his father figures. And Batman, of course. Bruce Wayne, his adoptive father. His first ward, Dick Grayson. Who actually became Batman for a time. 
once or twice. Yeah, dynamic duo, the original. And here they Excrema sticks. He's holding it, and there are pegs actually in the back where you can put and hide them, but we don't need to do that. These look perfectly fine in his hands. And of course, we have the peg right here. Perfect. There you go. Looking great, gentlemen. Nightwing. Next up, I am going to be opening his on and off again love interest and the very first Batgirl. Barbara Keen Gordon. The daughter of Commissioner Gordon. Batgirl. From Art of the Crime. So this is not the Burnside Batgirl. This is when she donned a more retro looking costume. Yeah, this is art by Sean Gordon Murphy. You may know him from Batman White Knight. So let's open this up. This is our next figure. All right, Batgirl. Time to open you up from your box. It's a tricky box, though. Again, this is the second uh, build a figure, uh, well, build a Batmobile rather, wave figure that I'm taking out. There she is in the clamshell. And here is the trading card and the stand. So I have to cut that out again. Hold on a sec. And she's free from her package. Barbara Gordon, Batgirl from Art of the Crime. Here she is. As drawn by Sean Gordon Murphy, and it says in the back, Batgirl number 27, uh, 2016, DC Rebirth. By day, Barbara Gordon is the bookish daughter of the Gotham City Police Commissioner, Jim Gordon. By night, Barbara dons a cape and cowl as Batgirl, committed to justice just like her father. While her utility belt is equipped with batarangs and other crime-fighting gadgets, her greatest tools are her brilliant mind and her unwavering determination. Batgirl is an expert martial artist and gymnast, trained in part by Batman, who is extremely athletic and agile. Her uh, uh, editic memory, heightened intelligence, and advanced knowledge of computers... Uh, and here she is, Barbara Gordon, a.k.a. Batgirl, as she appeared in Batgirl number 27 from DC Rebirth when she got a new outfit, eliminating the burn side look, and getting this cool illustration by Sean Gordon Murphy. She was trained by Batman. She's the daughter of police commissioner James Gordon. And, of course, there was a time when she was paralyzed, and she has a brilliant mind. She went under the alias of Oracle and became basically a computer whiz and an information network who helped out Batman and the rest of the Bat family and the other superheroes. She even created her own group, the Birds of Prey. So, uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, aside from the usual points of articulation... She comes with a grapple gun and a batarang, which is like Batman's. So, she's not holding it right now. It's on the floor. Here, I'm going to use the peg. Just pretend she's shooting out a bat line to the sky. There we go. Uh, I just prefer it to stand, but otherwise... These three look amazing together. And there's the trading card to add to my collection again. So that leaves us with one more figure to open. Saving the best for last, or rather the worst for last. The Batman Who Laughs, a.k.a. Earth-22 Batman. Who, after killing the Joker, was exposed to... Uh, modified version of the joker toxin which turned him into a deadly combination of the two batman's intelligence with the joker's insanity and he is the leader of the dark knights and a servant of barbatos 
during the Dark Knight's Metal storyline, and he also became the key villain in Dark Knight's Death Metal. In the back, we have artwork from Jock from his own miniseries, spinning off of the events of Dark Knight's Metal, The Batman Who Laughs. Highly recommended reading. Very twisted character. So this will be my first uh, Dark Knight to unbox. And I have everything else, but we'll feature that in another review for another time. So Bat Family, here's the twisted mirror of Bruce Wayne. So the Batman Who Laughs. Unboxing time. Yes, Bat Family. Here he is. Bruce Wayne of Earth-22 again. Uh, a combination of the Joker and Batman with a modified Joker toxin inside Bruce Wayne that drove him insane to turn him into this. Looks like something out of Hellraiser, right? If you read the comics, I guess that was the inspiration for making this Batman with a butcher knife and a sickle. Short sickle for that matter, but yeah. McFarlane Toys actually made another Batman Who Laughs figure with wings, which was part of the Merciless Wave. Something I will be reviewing next time. But for now, we're gonna finish off this wave. Actually, these are two waves with this review of the Batman Who Laughs. So let's take him out of this clamshell and see how he looks. For those who don't know the twisted story of the Batman Who Laughs, two years ago, or nearly two years ago, for Batman Day in September, they released the one-shot issue introducing the Batman Who Laughs for free. So again, it's a crazed version of Batman who, after killing the Joker, when they fought their titanic last battle. Uh, he was exposed to a joker toxin. There. And he turned into this. Yeah, slowly and systematically killing his protégés and allies. So this is the Batman who laughs. He comes with a couple of unsavory weapons that you wouldn't expect Batman to carry but this is a Batman who's crazed and became the living legacy of the Joker with the Batman's mind and as he always says a Batman who laughs is a Batman who always wins Heh. very very crazy and McFarlane Toys made a pretty awesome action figure right here It's like seeing in a dark mirror, Bruce. So there you have it. Batman who laughs and Batman. His dark mirror. And with that, these three figures complete the Batmobile weight. This was the Batmobile. Three pieces combined together. Well, of course, you can't put figures inside, but it's a good replica. You can just put it in the desk. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. I opened all six figures that I wanted to feature in this review. So one more time, looking at them standing together, and we'll call it we'll call it a good episode. One more thing about the Batman who laughs. Here's the card, the jock. Looking at the back, Bruce Wayne of Earth-22, like I said, and 22 is my favorite number. Uh, but Born from the nightmares of the dark multiverse, the Batman who laughs is a hybrid version of the Batman and the Joker from Earth-22. This twisted version of Batman was created with nanotoxins from the Joker's heart were released into Bruce Wayne's bloodstream, causing the Dark Knight's perfect mind to merge with the warped psyche of the Clown Prince of Crime. He soon became part of an attempt to plunge the entire multiverse into ultra-violence, chaos, and utter darkness. After being initially defeated, the Batman Who Laughs managed to survive and remains a threat to the greatest heroes of the multiverse, which continued with the recently concluded 
Dark Knight's Death Metal. And here are all of the six figures that I opened looking pretty awesome together. Shine a light. Look at them. If you were looking for some pretty awesome DC action figures, McFarlane Toys really did a bang up job. With each new wave, they improve. I mean, uh, there are hits and misses. I'm not really a fan of the animated series line and some movie figures, but the comic based figures? Hell yeah. These look great. Once again, absolutely nailing it. McFarlane Toys with their action figure line of DC multiverse figures. I can't complain. And it was nice to open those six figures at last after putting them for so long in the backlog. Yeah, this wave of toys. Uh, Nightwing is actually pretty awesome. So if you've not gotten a Dick Grayson figure, get this one. But my favorite... MVP might have to be this, the Hellbat. Very big, bulky bat armor. Badass looking too, with a big wingspan. Uh, next, I'd probably say I have to give it to the Man of Steel, Superman. Yeah, if you don't have a Superman figure, you're looking for a cheap one, this'll do. Based on Action Comics 1000. Batgirl, she's okay. Barbara Gordon, and cute looking too. Cape and a backpack. 22 points of articulation, just two items. Very much like the regular Batman from Detective Comics 1000. Same items. So, if you're trying to complete the Bat family, you gotta get her. Then, of course, Superman Unchained armor. Mazinger Z Superman. What more can I say? Other than that, uh, well, it stands next to the Hellbat armor. You have bulky figures. And the first of my Dark Knights. The Batman Who Laughs. You gotta get this figure to complete it. And then eventually, when you get the rest of the toys from that line... You have to get three crows, three robins, for him to pull and tug as his slaves. Really, really crazy. I mean, it's been an awesome march, and it's just gonna get more awesome because Zack Snyder's Justice League is gonna premiere on HBO Max and its affiliates starting March 18. And so far, the fans have been loving it. It's a four-hour epic we gotta watch it on March 18. Just go sign up to HBO Max or any of its affiliates, HBO Go in Asia. And uh, I'm looking forward to the McFarland Toys wave of Zack Snyder's Justice League, especially Darkseid. So there's a lot more unboxings to come from me with DC Multiverse figures. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do subscribe to this channel and follow me in Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I am at T-I-M-Z-S-T-E-R. And I'll be back with more reviews, more features, and other stuff in the pop culture scene. This is so far a pretty awesome unboxing. So I'll catch you next time. McFarlane and DC Multiverse. So awesome. One last look at the entire wave looking badass together. More to come, guys. More to come. Can't wait to see what else McFarlane has in store for us coming soon.